All right, so this is a bit random. If you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, this is going to be an unboxing. And it's a bit of a random unboxing because this is not comeback related. Uh, it's actually, I kind of, I wanted this so all these got here for my birthday, which is today. At least the day of me recording this is my birthday. But it's already 7.30 and I still got a bunch of Dreamcatcher videos who also came back on my birthday to, to edit. And I want to unbox these before I do those edits. So, this might go up after, but just know it's happening on my birthday because that's what I was planning. But this unboxing, uh, I haven't really revealed what it is. I kind of teased it, and if you caught on, I guess then you know. I have not provided myself any quality pause to insert the Patreon thing, so I'm gonna just do that now. And I'm tall like a flower, life fast like a flower. Summer tussle, I get pulling through, send me flowers. I made a tweet about a few songs that I wanted people to check out and they were from Master X, BTB, Mamamoo, and Icon. And this is part of the unboxing. I say this is actually got, this actually got here a couple days ago as well. Uh, but it's Mamamoo's Yellow Flower album. But let me show you one of these albums and then you'll maybe pick up on the pattern. The first one is going to be Master X's The Code album. Now, I didn't go back and check. This is literally from my memory, right? I wanted to do a special little unboxing for my birthday because I'm a very sentimental man. Uh, and I decided to, if, if y'all been with me since the beginning and y'all know like how I got into, into K-pop and why, it's cause like, listen, my year in 2017 20, 20, uh, was shit and K-pop kind of like turned that shit upside down from shit. To not so shit and one of the first groups apart from like the fact that blackpink got me into everything really apart from already knowing k-pop uh casually through bts um blackpink was my first group and the first group i reacted to was b2b first mv i reacted to was b2b's movie so what i actually ended up doing was buying the albums that were pretty much the songs the albums which contain my first song for each of my four main groups at the beginning if y'all remember, my four core groups were like Mamamoo, Icon, Master X, B2B, and those are my my honey bun sugar plums, okay? And I haven't taken out, obviously, Icon's gonna be part of this unboxing as well. So, I haven't taken that out. Oh, shit! I want you to know, I ordered the black one because they didn't have the red one, and they sent me the red one. Bless the fuck up. Icon's return album, because my first song for Icon was actually Just Go, the Japanese version, from a concert tour in Japan, and, uh... Actually, Just Go isn't originally from this album. I know, uh, Just Go is older. Just Go is older, because I know it's on the 2016 album, the Welcome Back album, uh, the Japanese version is at least. So it kind of just got repackaged into the Return album. And this album is one of the best albums I've ever heard, period. If you never heard it, please do. Now the one I was like, I was saying, like, I was a shaky about was the Master X one, because I went off memory and I do believe Drama Rama was my first Master X song. If not, listen, I'm a fraud, but I love my fucking boys, bro. And they were, Hand in hand with a couple other artists last year for me, artists of the year in 2020. Um, the, the obvious choices, obviously, with their success is groups like BTS. But it's crazy what Master X came came back from. Uh, the turmoil, people trying to like tear them down, being like the resilience of this fandom, my babies, and the group. And I'll, I'll give the company kudos uh, for not necessarily fully giving up on one hope. Um, obviously that the decision to take his time away from the group was his um, But I do believe that like, he's in a sub label of Starship um, While he's not in part of Master X, they didn't fully give up on him. Obviously, we don't have physically OT7 Master X, but uh, both entities in Wano and uh, And Master X were able to come back one debut as a solo artist in Wano and it was amazing and then Master X have been back multiple times English albums where Wanho's voice wasn't edited out of the songs and it's a beautiful time, it's a beautiful time. Master X came through, went through a lot in uh, late uh, 2019 and 2020 just fucking thrived in a year that was kind of shit. Icon's been through shit as well, B2B going through shit and uh, I'm just saying this because listen, even though it's my birthday and like it's supposed to be a happy time, I'm just pointing this shit out. If you're here and you don't fuck with OT7 B2B, be gone Satan, please, okay? If you're here and you were part of what made him Kwang apologize, be gone, Satan, please. I don't, I don't fuck with you. I'm just, 
I draw. I drew my line in the sand. That's it. Yeah, I'm not taking it back. And Mama Moo last year, every member solos apart from Ween, she had OST, but uh, Ween didn't have her comeback as a solo, which will happen this this year. We hope so. She also she's already pointed out that it's it's gonna happen. So uh, and then obviously Mama Moo had to come back towards the end of the year with Aya, and that was amazing. And it was just a year of Moo Moo's just being fed, honestly, because even though there was only one comeback. It was kind of a lot because you got Solar, who got a YouTube channel. All of them got Instagram accounts now. So we're just, it's constant content from all of them. And it's such a good time. And again, with Icon, uh, Icon, Bobby just came back, right? Bobby just came back with his album after like three years. And it's a good time. Icon is next. It was pretty much said. And uh, the only thing right now is obviously B2B had their comeback as well. Well, their debut has B2B for you. Uh, you got members in the military and of course the unfortunate turmoil that's going on right now. But eh. it, it's hopes that things come out brighter on the other side, okay? Uh, I'm still full on OT7. Uh, and honestly, based on like what I know of the situation, right? What I know of the, what the situation is about, I am OT7 anyway and I support both the group. I will support 6 to be if that's what ends up continuing. But um, I will support Ilhun as well when he gets out the military. And whether he comes back to the group or not, I am supportive of the entire B2B fam. It's going to be a pretty long-winded thing because if y'all do know me when it comes to these groups, I'm fairly, like, attached. I think each group has literally made me cry on separate occasions. Yes, Master X has. Icon has. Mamamoo has. B2B has. It's solos and comebacks with the group, literally, with all of them. So, uh, yeah. I got Maybe not go through all the, uh, the the photo books I've watched on my own. But I do want to check out the photo cards, which I guess is looking like it's in the front. No, it's not. I almost broke something, actually. I, I don't know. I've never touched this album, so I don't know what to expect. I actually don't know where stuff is, so I'm going to... Oh, shit! There's a picture right here. I was not expecting to see that. But we got our fucking leader, Silverlight and Kwan. Oh, hell yeah. I'm guessing this isn't the photo card. Also, they did have extra stuff back then because that doesn't look like a typical photo card. It could be though. It could be. I feel so bad seeing the stuff at like, I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about it much because, but y'all know me, bro. I, I got no filter. I, I leave room, listen. If I need to amend anything I say, I'll leave room for that. But generally speaking, I am very, very, very firm about my stance with the situation. I think it's very fucked to have made him have to apologize, okay? Oh, and I guess I'm guessing that you can get a different member as your album, as the actual CD, and I got my damn spirit animal, my male alt, if you guys don't know, Chang Sung. I'm guessing that is the photo card, dude, because I kind of like, like, going like this to the pages and nothing like stops. I think that's it, so I think I'm safe to like look through it, potentially. No, there's a, there's a split in the middle. There's a split in the middle, but nothing's there. Nothing's there. Nothing's there but an amazing picture, though. Look at these kings in these suits, bro. Look at them. Dude, even even the book tried to hide Ilhun, bro. Look at that shit. We, we, don't, we ain't having that, though. Oh, look at that. I don't, like, split my books backwards. I swear to God, I saw Mama Moon do that once, and it was triggering me. Because if you watch my unboxings, I go through everything to not bend the, the, the spine of the book. And I think I had seen them, like, Flipping and bending shit, and I was just getting so triggered. This is like one of the few times I've ever been triggered at Mama Moo. I don't even, it might be the only time I ever got triggered at Mama Moo was them bending the spines of the books. I think that I think that is the photo card, which means I got Unquan, which is fucking amazing. I, I can't wait till they're back doing things together, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully the future's bright because I really, uh, like I said, I don't mind talking about shit like this because. I've shared my opinion about Icon situation. I've shared my opinion about Must X situation. And now, unfortunately, my other favorite boy group is dealing with shit too. So I'm going to share my opinion on this one. I think it's bullshit. And if it's okay to feel like, let's just say it's true, right? Because I don't think it's been concrete anything. It's okay to be a little disappointed because you, you kind of hope the person knows that they're doing something wrong, right? Not to do something wrong. It's okay to be a little disappointed. But to think that a decade would be to be and you're kind of just gonna throw that shit out the window it's a bit fucked because i'm not i've not been here for the decade but a lot of people have and i feel like there's some of those people that have been there for that decade that are turning on them or 
trying to like I don't know paint them as this perfect image of pe no one's fucking perfect dog and like they get a little emotional about OT7 shit and they want to express themselves let that shit happen stop being corny I'm gonna move on because I will I will sit here and talk about that shit but I should have made that its own video but listen this is a this is, this is, this is, this is me you're you're on a channel called mind of mando this is my brain this is how it functions so let's go with Mama Moon next. Uh, I have not, I have never owned Yellow Flower, bro, but Paint Me was actually my first song, and it wasn't actually um, uh, Starry Night. It was Paint Me, and Paint Me was my first Mama Moon song. Uh, and Movie, I don't know if I said it, Movie was my first Mama Moon, uh, B2B song from Film. But Paint Me, and I completely fell in love from Solar, with Solar from the get-go. It was immediately, it was like the one with the blue dress. Me. Okay, I don't know if the photo card's gonna be on top, though. And I wanna do this like I, I always do unboxing, so. Okay, it's not in there. It's gonna be in the book. Oh, it's, just, it's in the book. No, that's a CD. That's a CD. I can see it off the corner of my eye. So that's a CD. Oh, it's brown. Now, I have this thing with my albums where I literally only pull Wii and photo cards. Like, have I pulled others here and there? Yeah. But literally, every... I'm pretty sure every single one. White. Blue. Red. And yeah, and in, um... Red in black, it was solar. Hold on, hold on. My brain is mush today. It's kind of weird. So here's the thing: if you know your arrows in Mama Moon, then you'll see it, right? You'll see it. That's three. That's three wins right there. That's literally double reality in black and one white win. And then we have blue S, red moon, and travel. So all I pull is win, and then I pull others. Yes, I pull. I actually pulled a solar one, and someone actually sent me a solar one as well in a PO box. Um, but pretty much. All I do is pull Wii in. And am I complaining? No, because I am everyone biased in my own. But, you know, I only pull Wii. In. It's just like, it's just a thing I like to point out. Question is, will the Wii and luck continue? That's what we gotta find out. So, let's just, let's go to where the photo card is. Is it here? It stopped right here. Yep, it is here. It is here, and I'm gonna let you see it first. I don't know which way it is. Survey says... You can't write this shit. You can't write this 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 drama. You can't write this K drama. I star in a K drama. <laughs> Weird. Something. <laughs> I only get weird. <laughs> I fucking love it's it's weird because I I'm not ungrateful. I'm actually ecstatic because I, I fucking love weed. I love all of them. But it's just crazy that I literally only get weed, yo. It's actually crazy. Also, aesthetically, yo, this is such a this was... I was gonna say this was Wiggins error, bro. Then I turned to this page. It was really everyone's error, to be honest. To be honest, it was everyone's error. That is absurd. They all look so bomb. But this was blonde, short hair, Wiggins error, so... We must cherish. So, next, let's go with Monster X. Mainly because it's the one of... Dude, by the way, speaking of Monster X, Wano snap this morning? Y'all saw Wano snap this morning? Not his snap, but it might as well have been on his snap. My, that shit could have been on the OnlyFans. The hell? Hey man, I saw more Juan Ho today than I thought I ever would. And I've seen that man whole ass chesticles. I was gonna say floating about, but literally firmly in place. Just like for everyone to say, this is, I feel so weird because I don't own, I don't own a lot of boy group shit. Like to be honest, like the first boy group album I owned was Monster X is All About Love. And then it was TXT. Um, I guess TXT is one of those groups kind of like creeping in like to be one of the f favorite groups as well because TXT are fucking amazing. Um, but I I'm trying to feel out everything. I guess this is, is this the photo book on the side page? Hello? Uh, but yeah, I don't really own physical boy group merch, really. It's weird. Because they're literally like my mates from the beginning. I just didn't own anything physical. Right, so I look down. It's actually not on that side, but it is like a, a photo book. Like I said, I'm not going to go through everything. Oh, wait. Do you get one specific member? Did I get Chenkin? Speaking of Chenkin, and also with Icon, Channel's birthday is technically today still for me. And uh, it's also Chenkin's birthday as well, uh, which is I am from Monster X. So happy birthday to we. That's crazy. On his birthday, I get, like I said, I guess you get one member on the side, and I got him. That is dope. All right, so let's check inside. Okay, what's that? Oh, is that the photo card? No, that's the CD. What does the CD look like? Oh, my chest! I got Wano as the CD! Look at that! 
Oh, that's great. I love that. Why did it split here? There's nothing on this page. It's such a. Oh, there it goes. Wait, there's two things. There's two things. Okay, I'll put that right there. I'm weird. Listen, if you've never seen my unboxings, I'm a weird dude. I'm weird. I think that's it, though. There was two things in there. They have two photo cards? Oh, shit. Early day stepping on up. All right, y'all see it first. Y'all see it first. Y'all see it first. I'll, I'll just flip it around so you see it. There's a screen here which I technically would be able to see, but I'm not actually looking at the screen. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, so let's look at this one first. Oh, it's a two member one! And I got Chunkin and Shonu! That's a beautiful thing. I almost broke it. I almost broke my first. Oof. Look at that. I mean, you've seen it already. But look at that. The other one, I'm guessing, is a solo photo card. And that's it. Right, based on like the what I'm seeing in my peripherals, this is the back. So I'm gonna hold it like this. Let's see. The birthday boy. This it, it is wee day. It is wee day. I got Chankian. Oh my fucking god. So they couldn't be more perfect. I mean, it could be better, but hey, it's not. We appreciate what we got. <laughs> Question is, can we uh, do the uh, triple birthday boy thing, and also pull uh, Chano in this one? Anyone who doesn't know. My bias in Master X is uh, Juhan. Uh, my bias in Icon is kind of like a three-way bias, but originally it is June and then Bobby and um, and uh, Hanbin. And obviously, I got love for all members in all groups, including Master X, B2B. B2B, my bias is Changs Up. Got love for all of them. And in my Mamu, I love all of them as well. And my alt is my Mamu, just like my male alt is Changs Up and B2B. So. Now we moving on to Icon and I don't know what's here. What is this? This is the CD on this side. This is a booklet, pamphlet thing. Oh, the lyric book. Okay, so then, oh, they have a little envelope thing. There's nothing here. Oh, that's a photo book. There's a photo card in the photo book. No, but it randomly split to a page again. Why do these books do that? I can look down there. But I still remember this era. Oh, it was such a good fucking time, yo. I believe when I did my first listen to the Return album, I was eating spaghetti. I literally remember that reaction. I, I remember, I, I believe in that reaction, I was eating spaghetti or some kind of macaroni, some kind of pasta. Right, so we're gonna take out one thing at a time. I don't know what this is. Stickers. I, I don't know what this is either. It's the, the fucking birthday boy. That's what it is, bro. We have done it. We have done it. Now, I don't know if this is the photo card. It looks more like a postcard. It could be the photo card. And if it is, then I have completed the birthday boy trilogy. All right, so I actually, like I said, I don't remember the content, so I don't know if there's a smaller photo. Yep, there is. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, so y'all look at it first. And I got Jinwon. Oh my god, he released a cover in Tagalog with Dara for the holidays, and it sounded so good. I don't, I don't really listen to like, I, I hope I'm saying the language right, by the way. Uh, but it sounded so good. But we got the boy Jinwon, in the back it says J. For those who can't pronounce Jinwon. <laughs> and I do think, oh, that's not it. There's more stuff in here, dude. There's more stuff. Hold on. Hold on. There's more stuff. What is this? I got Bobby. I got Bobby. Oh, my fucking God, bro. Congrats on your comeback, my brother. Okay. Hold on. All right. What is this then? What is this? It's a see through of Juna, bro. Hello? This man smited me with his vocals when I first heard Just Go, bro. And there's one more thing here. It's a group one. Yes. It makes me feel good, you know, right? Because I went into this thinking like, imagine I pulled a uh, Wano photo card. Imagine I pulled, uh, imagine I pulled Ilhu photo card. Imagine I pulled Hanvin photo card. And I got a group thing. I pulled Wano something as a CD. And then unfortunately I didn't get an Ilhu photo card, but it's fine. It really is fine. I thought of them anyway. This is nice to get a group photo. And I think, that's it. No, there's something else in here. Oh, there's there's a lot of shit in here. Hey, is there one for each member? I got Harvin. Oh no, there's another one though. I got Jill one. Oh, there's one for each member. I felt three more. <laughs> oh shit. There's one for each member. There's four more. I slipped up and forgot on you, bro. Oh fuck my fraudulent ass. Okay. We got all of them. I didn't know there was one for each. Oh, that feels so good. There's one for each and a group photo card. 
So I was guaranteed a birthday boy thing. Anybody who's already opened this album knew that when I was opening it. But I'm pretty sure these three are random, so it's pretty dope. I got my OG bias and icon. I got my 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 add-on bias, I guess you'd say, because later on he just also became like one of the mains. And then we got Gen One, the amazing Gen One, with an underrated vocal. Uh, listen, you need, to, you need to shine, brother. You need to shine. And you, need to, you need to come back so you can shine again. I said it was a shit day, but Dreamcatcher came back today, so that was the highlight of the day as well. Uh, this unboxing is a highlight of the day also. Obviously, I did say this was like a birthday unboxing thing that I was going to do regardless. And it's a coincidence that the song Better is playing in the background. But I wish everyone a better year ahead because uh, 2020, listen, 2017, like I said, it was my shit year. And then I came to K-pop and things turned around. But it's not like it's like a, a miracle, miracle drug, right? Miracle medicine, whatever you want to call it. Um, it doesn't fix everything, but it provided happiness where when needed in uh, it's always that source for me because it's kind of like just become my hobby like literally all I do Like I don't even really play video games anymore I play like one video game and all I listen to is like I listen to K-pop and I watch NBA. That's it I think NBA is about to go away. So I'm only gonna have K-pop again because I didn't have NBA last year. So uh, It's just that this is that was the whole mind of Mondo part where I just start rambling But I just kind of want to wish everybody a better 2021 even if 2020 was good for you I hope that 2021 is better uh, and 2020 was shit, like it was for many, and I hope 2021 is a lot better, right? Because, like I said, 2017 was shit, and actually for me, 2020 was also quite shit for me. So, I'm looking forward to a better 2021, and uh, starts off, it's been starting off nice with, like, obviously, K-pop is, like, my hobby and my main thing. And some of my faves have already come back, and nice things have been, apart from, like, the B2B thing, uh, nice things have been looking... Like, like pointing towards nice things for like most of my faves, you know, for, like pretty much all of them, even like Luna and like with like Hospital and stuff like that. So, here's to a better 2021. Wish it for all of y'all, and if you're still here, I guess, because I pretty much think you've all clicked off at this point. Smoking, I'm trying to start again. Smoking.